So if you developed a Node.js application, for example with Express.js or any other way using Node.js, and now you want to deploy it to somehow put it over in the internet so anyone can access it and anyone can use it, and you can show around your amazing Node.js work, you can do it easily and freely. And in this video tutorial, we're going to see how to do that. We're going to use a service called Glitch or Glitch.com, and they have a free tier through which you can receive their services for free. So first, of course, we have to develop some Node.js application. For this demonstration, I'm going to use something very simple, but of course it can be any other Node.js application. I'm going to use Express, and you can see the code here. So basically it only has one route, and this is the route, and it served as the root of the website, forward slash, and we only support get requests for this route, and as you can see, for this route, what we return as a response is a file, and specifically this file, index.html, which can be found in this folder, public. So it's here, index.html, and this is our file. So we have server.js, and then we have index.html in the public folder. So first we have to have the package.json file, so chances are that if you're developing this project, you already have this file, but in case you don't, you can always run npm init, and it will generate this file for us. So let's run this command. So here it is, package.json. We now have to make sure that in the scripts area over here, we have a script called start. So I already have it. If you don't have it, you will have to add it manually yourself. So it has to look something like this, node, and then the name of your main file. So for me, it's server.js, and that's why it needs to be node server.js. And that's what I have written here. So I don't have to change anything, but in your case, you might need to add this line or edit it or whatever you need to do, but make sure that you have this line, start and then node, and then the name of your JS file. Now, for me, my project uses Express.js, so I'm going to have to install it, but I'm assuming that you already have all of your dependencies already installed. I'm going to install Express, and it was added to our package.json file, here it is, and now we should be able to run and test our project locally. It's always a good idea to make sure that everything works locally before you try to deploy it on the internet. So to run my project locally, I'm going to use node, and then the name of my main node script, server.js in my case. And we can see that it's running on port 3000, so let's try to access it. And here we can see the content of our index.html file. Now do try to use port 3000, as this is the default port used by glitch.com, which we're going to use in a second. So here, when I chose to use port 3000, it's not just arbitrary, try to use this specific port, 3000. Next, we need to create a zip file of our project. And notice that this zip file that we're going to create does not need to contain the node modules folder. So let me stop my local server. And here are the files for my project. And I'm going to choose everything. And now I'm going to remove from my selection the node modules folder. So I selected everything but the node modules folder, and now we need to right click and then choose compress to zip file. So right click and compress to zip file. And we got our zip package, you can name it however you want. If you are on Mac OS or Ubuntu, you can use this command to create the zip file. Anyway, now that we have our zip file, we can move on to deploying to glitch. So let's go to glitch.com and log into your glitch account. I am already logged in, so I don't need to log in again. We now need to click on New Project, and then choose Glitch Hello Node. So here I'm going to choose New Project, and Glitch Hello Node. And everything loaded. Next, we need to drag and drop our project zip file into Glitch. Just let me close this preview window. So from the folder containing our zip file, I'll simply drag the zip archive containing my node project. And now under assets, we can see the file over here. We now need to open glitch built-in terminal. So here on the bottom, we need to click on terminal. And as you can see in the working tree here, we have all kinds of files that come with a new project. We're going to remove everything we have here. So this can be done with the rm command. And to remove the folders, we need this command, rm-r, and then star. And if we list the files now with ls, we can see that our folder is empty and we don't have any files. By the way, to update the view here and to see in the working tree what we actually have, we can run the refresh command. 
And now under files, we can see that we don't have any files. Let's get back to the assets and choose the zip archive. And I'm going to copy URL. And now I'm going to download the zip file from the URL I just copied. So this can be done with the wget command. And here I'm going to paste the URL. And if I list the files now, we can see that we have the zip file here, but it has some suffix at the end of the name of the file. So to get rid of this suffix, I'm going to rename the file. To do that, I'm going to use the mv command. So mv, and then the name of the file as it currently is. So package.zip and then this suffix. And you can use tab for auto completion. And I want this file to be called package.zip. And if I list my files now, I can see that now we only have package.zip. That's the zip file we created in the computer itself, in the local machine. Let's now unzip our project. And to do that, we're going to use the unzip command. And again, tab for auto completion. And the files were extracted from the zip archive. And if we list them now, we can see all of the files we copied from our local project. And once again, I'm going to refresh to see it here in the working tree. And here they are. And of course, we can also see their content. So for example, let's see the content of server.js. So I'm simply going to click on it. And here is the code that we're going to run. All we need to do now is click on the share button. And here where it says live site, I'm going to copy the link. And let's open a new tab in the browser and paste this link. And you can see our Node.js project served for free on the internet.